No matter what I do, I'm always going to be different. And there's joy in that. Humans. I really like the message. The message that, you know, just because you haven't seen people that look like me or that look like you doesn't mean that we don't belong. And I thought that was really special and that really hit close to home for me. Um, I, I've just started on my own kind of athletic journey and I've started weightlifting and it can be kind of intimidating because it's um, traditionally a more male dominated space. And um, yeah, it's been a really interesting journey. And so I feel like I can relate to this in some ways. Um, what I really loved, loved about this film also is the cinematography. The, those drone shots from so high up and just showing the beautiful landscape um, that this woman has in her backyard and um, getting to see her interact with the land in so many different ways, whether it's running or bouldering or playing with chickens and handling dirt, all of it. It felt very tactile and I feel like the camera um, really did a great job of, of capturing that and immersing us as the audience into that experience. So um, really great film with a really wonderful message. Well-worn life with Danny Ray's Acosta. Well, this woman was an amazing outdoor athlete, uh, wanting to feel one with nature. This is what it's got to really mean. She seems to live just to be outdoors. And I know people like this. They tell you they couldn't not be outdoors for the most of their free time. Um, her words, they were great. Uh, she moves through a landscape to see where she fits in. I thought that was so interesting because she just wants to be in it and feeling like she's a part of a rock when she lays down in the uh, desert canyon. Um, she feels belonging in this landscape. And I thought that was interesting because she talks about never wanting to be in the city and how she has her farmstead, she calls it and living simply is the only way she can do it and do it well. And she feels we belong outside. I think she's right. Um, this is what matters to her, is being a part of our outdoor space. A well-worn life. I thought this was really, really, really beautiful. I think it highlights a lot of aspects, but mostly like it just highlights the absolute beauty that is out there that you can immerse yourself in and you can explore and you can explore it every day for for you know a lifetime and still have things to explore and it's not crazy out of reach it's not you know you don't have to go to some super remote place to find you know these amazing beautiful natural places that you know, can leave you awestruck and speechless you can find all of that not far from where you live in a lot of cases um it you know you maybe have to travel a little bit but a lot of the time you can find these really beautiful places that you know you can like i said get lost exploring and you know having this amazing time not that far from where you live and you can have all these you know different experiences and it's so important not to, you know, lose sight of that and lose sight of the the natural places that, you know, leave you awestruck and speechless. Um, so I really, really loved it. Well-worn life. Um, very good short, very interesting concept. Um, I really like uh, how the uh, main character explains to us the differences uh, and the emotions, the feelings you you, you feel uh, while living in the in the countryside, not even that much countryside, like a really really remote land, uh, versus living in the city, uh, planting trees and trying to to live the life as close as nature as close to to nature as possible. Uh, I think it was uh, very well done, and it really gave me the feeling. Uh, uh, I mean that that kind of emotion that you feel only. 
when you are uh, in the nature, when you are in the in the wild, uh, let's say, uh, and then uh, and, and you can see how different it is, uh, staying there, trying to live a life there, trying to um, embrace hurt uh, rather than living in the city with uh, thousand, hundred thousand millions of humans. I mean, I think in the end, uh, the film was uh, pretty engaging, uh, educative, surely and at the same time there was a great uh, cinematography and a great direction i really love the way the documentary was structured so overall a uh, great production congratulations all right just finished watching um well-worn life which i found to be um quite inspirational and very well done i love the lead subject of the piece she was just really engaging and endearing and i just loved her sort of thrill and and um sort of vigor for a living life as, as well as she wants to and not necessarily always doing the wildest things or the craziest things even though she's very adventurous compared to normal people but just sort of being free to express yourself and trying to sort of engage in a process of discovering yourself and operating with life with a level of self-awareness that um i think is important you know you, you have a finite amount of time and i thought that the piece really had a great sense of that and sort of um the idea that humans um might not be completely fulfilled living on um, the life that society deems is the only accessible way to exist and you know she it's difficult for her to live the way she is living off the grid often um traveling a lot um, being one with nature a lot it's, it's not always financially lucrative and i thought the piece really showed how she sort of had a an abundance of life and spirit in exchange for um, the security that most people would um, expect from day-to-day uh, -to -day, nine to five type of living and how important it was for her to make the decision in terms of her sense of self and her her I think her um, sense of soul in particular and I thought this made the piece um, very relatable and uh, uh, very um, engaging for a wide uh, audience especially given um, how much heart and compassion was uh, put into it in such a short amount of time in terms of the runtime so I ended up enjoying it and I thought it was um, uh, quite well done. Well worn life. This film was really inspiring and it was a joy to watch. I think that the filmmakers did some beautiful, beautiful cinematography in this, but Danny's voiceover and when she was on camera, her personality was just so genuine and sincere. She was a pleasure to watch. Not only, um, you kind of felt like you knew her, you know, it was, it was very, um, there was some sort of like camaraderie there. You already felt like you had a rapport with this individual. And she was saying some things that were just really inspiring and really educational. So I loved this. I thought that it was great. Great job. It was very interesting seeing this new perspective with well-worn life. Um, it was very fascinating seeing that contrast and that kind of perspective of wanting to live life outside versus kind of that comfort that comes from living indoors uh and it's always fascinating whenever the topic of covid is brought up because anytime you bring it up it always forces a where were you kind of moment so for this one it kind of reeled her back in in the sense of you know sometimes when you think of the outdoors you think of more extreme things mountain biking uh rock climbing but sometimes it's just as simple as planting something or just experiencing something in your backyard uh it's always interesting seeing how the pandemic kind of forced everyone to take a new perspective but all in all it was also very interesting seeing how this how she's able to bring this lifestyle into just anything as simple as just being outside as long as she's outside that's happy and that was very fascinating for me the philosophy that Danny has for life is inspiring. It's something that she took the pandemic and figured out 
what she wanted to do with her life and it wasn't what she ever thought she'd do. Especially, she said she was running a farmstead and continues to do things, to grow things herself that she says we all belong outdoors, which is true. But it's something where she is trying to live her best life. And I think that's a message that more people need to do is stop living for other people and to start living for yourself like Danny has shown that she is starting to do. She doesn't want to answer to other people. She answers to herself and to how she wants to live. Which is something I think that people have lost sight of in this world. And that we need to start doing more what she does and living by the philosophy that she goes that we all belong outdoors and just kind of do things for ourselves. This film telling her story or I guess the beginning of her story, because it sounds like it's just starting, is something that could be shown to educate kids still in school, that as they grow up, when teachers say, this is what you're going to be when you grow up, what do you want to be when you grow up, that the answer could be, I'm still learning. And that's what I kind of got from this film with Danny is that she's still learning who she is and who she wants to be, but she can live with the very beautiful land.